Soon after she married to the eastern suburbs, Little May knew that her marriage business lost money again, and it was a big loss. No wonder that her mister didn't care about money with her. The mister married her to have a son. The mister is well educated in Nanjing and Boston. In the process of the marriage proposal, the mister is very Boston. Once he lived his life, his Zhejiang peasant's nature is exposed. The more money he has, the more eager he wants a son. The mister had three daughters in Zhejiang, but his wife said that she would not have any child. Not giving birth, then don't. If his wife doesn't give birth, he gives birth. It's the same anyway. The mister is not prurience. He never provokes women outside. As an expert in this area, Little May knows it well. The mister's quantity is there. Every time it is very much. The mister is also a precise person who comes once a month and can catch up Little May's most dangerous day every time. Little May understands that what her mister cares about is not making love with Little May, but mate with Little May. However, Little May didn't want to be pregnant. She has seen many like that little boys in the royal villa. They are smart and beautiful. Their eyes are happy and clear. But Little May knew that one day their eyes would grow melancholy and dim. Once thinking of this, Little May shudders without coldness. Meanwhile, Little May cannot help thinking for herself. Once she is pregnant, she only has two ways out there. One was to live with money. The other was to be a nanny first and live with more money. Where can Little May go in the end? Whether she goes to Kunming or Changchun, Johannesburg or Buenos Aires, there will always be a pair of smart and beautiful eyes behind her, and then these eyes become melancholy and dim. The stare will be her soul, and it will be invisible as soon as she turns around. Maybe there's a third way. The third way becomes increasingly dangerous. Why can she be pregnant with a son at once? It is entirely possible a daughter, which is why the contract between her mister and her is not one year but three years. That is the mystery. Who is Little May? How can she be manipulated by others? Little May has such an ability of riding every mate to make him love. To bewitch the mister, Little May displayed all her talents in bed, which is more like selling than when she was selling. Limited in hand, regretted in mind, her postures are crazy. Her moans and even screams are crazy. Professional. She needs him so much. She has fallen in love with him. The mister is very satisfied, and there is nothing wrong with being satisfied. Satisfactions gave the mister strange intuitions. This time must be a son. To give her mister a healthiest and smartest son, Little May supplements calcium, zinc, and iron. She also needs vitamin A, B, C. In front of her mister, Little May would take out the medicine before breakfast, just like eating peanuts. She swallowed a lot. Smart people are often stupid. The mister, who is well educated in Nanjing and Boston, can never think of the contraceptive pill in the vitamins. Little May has been using contraception. One man stops the million. No matter how much the mister's quantity is. Little Miss Little Pale can kill the Mister's troops, leaving no armor. I'm a bad woman. Lying next to her Mister, thought Little May. I'm sorry to my Mister. The Mister is the Mister. The Mister has his business, and the Mister has his home. In fact, the time given to Little May by her Mister is extremely limited, which is forty-eight hours per month. Forty-eight hours later, the mister is about to drag his trolley case and set off. As a result, Little May's home in the eastern suburbs is a bit like an airport, with only one round-trip flight 
per month. Every time the Mister's Landing makes Little May happy. After all, she wants it too. Once departure, there was only one thing left: twenty-eight or twenty-nine days. Twenty-eight days or twenty-nine days is a very, very big bone, smooth and white. Little May is like an ant, climbing up and down again, entangled. Generally speaking, ants do not lie down and rest like dogs. Little May could hear the mighty and vigorous breathing of the ants. It is fine during the day, but it is not easy to handle at night. The dark night has a function; it can amplify all the bad things. Everywhere are the women who are alone in their vacancies, and everywhere are deadly silent. Royal villa, the name matches the reality. It is sure a royal style. A large group of concubines, but never see one emperor. Occasionally, there are one or two dog barks, far away, without echo, like falling into the air, like the loneliness of the desolation, and like the quietness of the wilderness. The breath of prehistory is boundless and immense. Everyone says it is a noisy world, riotous. Superficial, red hot, and burning. Little May sat alone in the middle of the night, and all she saw was a luxurious loneliness.